If you're not tracking the success of your mail campaigns, you really should be. But Elise, how do I do that? Well, call tracking is the way to go and Deal Machine has that now for you. Like I just mentioned, one of the big benefits of call tracking is you get to track and see the success of your mail pieces. You get to see which ones are performing well, which ones aren't, and you can track all of that and see the analytics right there in Deal Machine. Now, a couple different ways you can do this. You can do it by area code. If maybe you're virtual wholesaling and you have different areas that you're wholesaling, you can have a number with each different area code because you're more likely to get a call back if it has that native area code in the marketing material. Or if you have a team, you can assign a tracking number to each team member and be able to track the response rate from their mail marketing individually. So how do you set this up? Glad you asked. First, you're going to go into your settings at the top right. You're gonna to go to application settings. Then you're gonna to go to call tracking. So as you see here, I have different areas that I have numbers for. So I have one here for Cleveland. I make sure that it has the right area code. Same for Indy, in Michigan, so on and so forth. So how do I wanna add those? I click add. You want to label it. So let's say this is for my team member, Benji. And then I wanna make sure that it's an Indianapolis phone number. And then you put your callback number. So this would be Benji's phone number that it will go ahead and route to when they call this number. And then you can change this to your default tracking number, which means that it's going to go on every piece of mail going forward. So you don't have to go in and change it, but I will show you how to go in and change it in your signature. So then I'm gonna click get call tracking number. So then I have the number populated here. You see that I can go ahead and copy that, or I can go in and change the callback number if that happens to change. Now, how do I put this on my mail marketing? We're gonna go into mail postcards, you can do this two ways. You can create new mail or you can go ahead and edit, but it's in the same space. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new one. So a new four by six postcard, select a design. And then at the bottom right here where it says signature, you're gonna click on that. You're gonna scroll down and it's going to have this toggle right here where it says track ROI and transcribe conversations. So you turn that on and you pick which call tracking number you want to put on here. So I will put Benji's on here. This is going to be his designated piece of mail. What's really great is not only is it going to be tracking the call rate off of this mail piece, it's also going to transcribe the conversation when this person calls back Benji. I answer on my phone, but it transcribes in Deal Machine so that I can go in and review that conversation. It also helps set me up for next steps with this person. This is something that you all have been asking for, so we're really excited to give this to you. Please let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you missed out on the dialer announcements and wanna learn more about this feature, go ahead and check out this video here for more information. And as always, happy deal finding.